हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अर चैनल आई होप एवरीबडी इज डूइंग ग्रेट स्टे होम स्टे सेफ वॉन्टेड टू नो लाइक वॉट इज द इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस एट इनो माइंड्स एंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर बींग आज डेट इनो माइंड्स इंटरव्यू देन दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू आई होप दिस वीडियो शुड बी हेल्पिंग यू इन क्रैकिंग योर इंटरव्यू सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी शेयरिंग द इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस दैट आई हैव अंडर वेंटेड इनो माइंड्स एंड आई विल बी शेयरिंग द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन विच आई हैव इनकाउंटर्ड इन द इंटरव्यू so firstly i would like to discuss about the requirement like what for what requirement uh, they were requir- uh, they were conducting the interview so the role for which i was i have got interviewed is back end developer and coming to the skills these are the skill set they were looking out for like java spring spring boot and micro services and nextly i would like to discuss about the interview process here so in the uh, in the interview process uh, i would like to discuss like how I, how i got shortlisted for the interview as well so i got a mail from one of the hrs of interview or oh, sorry firstly i got a call from them then later on after having a discussion about the requirement and the skill set uh, i i got a mail like i got a mail in which they sh- stated that i got shortlisted and they have scheduled my interview on this was on the weekday so coming to the number uh, process interview process like there were two rounds of interview technical discussions for me like one was face to face at their facility and other was a skype call the and this was an online telephonic like uh, skype call with the on site team and then there was an hr discussion so uh, in the first of all technical discussion uh, mo- the uh, questions were mostly asked like b- all the technical interview questions were asked here and when coming to on site uh, technical discussion there were technical questions but mostly he was concentrating whether i was having a genuine experience or he was trying to figure out whether the candidate is an uh, real candidate or a fake candidate like fake experience candidate so this was the uh, uh, short this uh, description uh, description about the interview process so in the hr discussion so there this was around 15 to 20 minute discussion with hr so he was asking me the questions few questions were there uh, which i'll discuss the, uh, in this video as well so this was the interview process at innovants and before getting into the technical interview questions that were asked to me i would like to give a quick introduction of ourselves like who are we and what we do we are a bunch of software engineers who are attending the interviews and sh- uh, sharing the interview experiences through the videos so these are the list of interviews that we have already shared uh, please visit our channel and you can find this all videos i think this way these are very useful videos in cracking your interviews and if you haven't subscribed us you can subscribe us as well so this was a short introduction of ourselves so coming to the face to face discussion questions that were asked to me so there were few uh, questions where i was asked to write the code also so i would like to discuss those questions first so chalo start write a code to compare two objects using comparator so if you are preparing for interviews this should be a must question in most of the interviews so i was very well prepared for this and i was able to clear uh, like i was able to write the code and clear this question and there was continuation question also like how in which scenario i'll be using like comparator or, or in which scenario i'll be using the comparable interface so this there was one more continuation question on this question as well so coming to the next question write a code to create an immutable class so it was a very easy for me to be honest i have prepared well for this question also so i was able to write the code for creating the immutable class then he twisted the question saying like uh, what if the class has an instance instance of instance reference so i was also well prepared for this how we need to do a deep copying in the co- collector inter co- uh, constructor itself whenever we are having instance variables so i was able to answer that as well so coming to the next question he asked me to write a code to swap two numbers without using third variable so i believe this was very simple thing mm, i was able to write this as well so we need to add then subtract and add we'll get the result so the next question was what is preferred synchronized method or synchronized block so this completely depends on the scenario when we are coding like based on the scenario we can say like which uh, 
which is preferred like synchronized method or synchronized block i have said the same and explained the benefits and advantages and disadvantages of both he was pretty much impressed with me here coming to the next question what's wrong using hash map in multi threaded environment so uh, one disadvantage what is there with hash map is it will blo lock the entire hash map whenever uh, the threads are accessing it whenever it is being accessed in multi threaded environment so that is the reason we we always prefer for using concurrent hash map instead of hash map when it is multi threaded environment do all properties of immutable objects need to be final so this was a very simple question as well here overriding a hash code method have any performance implications yes to be honest yes we will have performance implications if we are not having uh, if we are not overriding the hash code method properly the operations will be too slow because every time if a hash collision is happening then there will be a problem while retrieving the object while retrieving the objects from the hash map what is the difference between factory and abstract factory patterns so uh, there is uh, no big difference both the uh, behaves in a much similar way only difference is like a uh, abstract factory factor is one more abstract layer on the factory design pattern uh, that's uh, the short description i would like to say here yeah. so suppose uh, the next question was like uh, scenario based suppose we, you have thread 31 t1 t2 and 3 t3 how will you ensure that thread t2 run after t1 and thread 3 t run after t2 so if you are having good experience or having hands on experience on uh, on threads uh, this is very simple question there is a method called join so using that method we can achieve this thing how will you awake a block thread in java so this is also a simple question i would say what is context switching in multi threading so if you are aware of it like how what is uh, if you are in, if you are having like this is a bit technical uh, question not uh, uh, like what I can say not a uh, coding question like it is most a technical question like how uh, threads get uh, context switching and how that happens what is the benefit of it according to you what are micro services so I have explained in in the simplest way as possible so the next question is advantages and disadvantages for microservices uh, to be honest uh, everything has an uh, advantage and disadvantages so even microservices have to maintain microservices is a big 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 challenge i would see i always prefer i always see that as a big challenge so what is the difference between restful web services and soap web services so this is also a pretty much average interview questions interview question i would say how to create simple string spring boot, spring boot application so he was again expecting me to write the entire code like what all dependencies we need to create a spring boot web application and spring boot normal application explain about what are the spring boot starters so i have explained him, him like what all dependent dependencies that get downloaded whenever we are having spring boot starter dependency what do you mean by dev tools in spring boot so dev tools is a dependency which came up in spring boot 1.5 so if you are configuring that uh, if you if, if it de de detects the code changes it will automatically restart the server that is a big benefit that is providing provided by dev tools would we be able to use spring boot with application which are not using spring so i feel lot of challenge here uh, to be honest uh, we cannot say directly no because nothing is impossible but uh, we need to have uh, write a huge codes to convert a non spring application into spring boot application what is auto configuration in spring boot so this is one of the biggest advantages of spring boot like uh, it gets many things get auto configured if it is available in the class path so next question was what is the difference between get uh, that the two annotations like a thread get mapping and versus like a thread request mapping so there is a small difference between this thing too if you are not aware of it uh, please brush up on this thing as well what does the at the rate spring boot application annotation do internally or how does at the rate spring boot annotation works internally so i have explained him like it is a combination of three annotations so 
explain in detail like how it works internally how to explode any package without using sp base package filter so when there the uh, spring comes up with lot of features so we can exclude it very easily how to enable or disable the actuator so if you are having that dependency so it will and then it will then only it will activate like enable the actuator if you are not having uh, the dependency in then the spring boot application won't uh, uh, enable this feature so these were the typical questions that were discussed in my first round or we can say face to face discussion so next was the on site round questions i would say like our on site interview question which happened in skype so here as i already said uh, the interviewer was most concentrating on like I, whether i have a genuine experience or a fake experience rather than uh, uh, showing uh, much questions on technical side there were few questions which were already which i have already discussed like there were few questions on things from spring and normal java so coming to the questions how do you perform end to end testing this was the first question in on site round testing on site round interview questions so i have explained him like how we are achieving the end to end testing in our application how do you call one api service from another api so explain him like using rest template we can do this so what actually we do in our application i have explained him the same how do you deploy your code on servers so we are having devops teams and we are way through jenkins they have written some scripts which will deploy the code so i have said the same thing because i don't have hands on experience on de uh, deploying the code on servers in production in normal servers we can i know like i have explained in that thing but uh, coming to the production servers uh, we have different teams for that how do you know the code is following all coding standards so here i have uh, i have explained him like how we are configuring the sonar to, into our application and how we are fixing like what kind of what level of uh, uh, things we are fixing fixing in sonar what will you pick up when there are two tasks which are of top priority so i have answered him like if out of two tasks if any any task on which i have all earlier worked i will pick up those tasks that task first so that it would be easy for me to finish it off then i will pick up the second task what is definition of done according to your project so there are few things which we follow uh, before considering the user story as definition of done so i have explained him in detail that what is print review so sprint review is one of the agile ceremony so i have explained him like what is sprint review basically this is nothing but uh, uh, we can say like uh, we show all the work done in the sprint in the form of demos to the client or po so next question next section is the hr round interview questions so the first question here was why are you looking out for a change i was very well prepared for this and i have explained him like why i was explaining uh, changing looking out for a change how long will you work for us so for this type of question i we like we all the friends will have the gen, uh, generic answer like as long as we are facing uh, finding the work environment challenging uh, we will continue to work here are you attending the interviews of other companies as well so i said to be honest yes i can just cannot uh, sit uh, with one interview uh, getting scheduled i am looking out for uh, i am attending other interviews as well so he said like if he releases you an offer will you stop attending the interviews to be honest uh, i i will still attend the interviews uh, for his satisfaction i said yes i will stop looking out for the attending the interviews so what is the expectation of from us so i have said like how much package do i need here so uh, it was close to 65 percent from the much uh, from on my current package so with this uh, i conclude the interview questions like what all interview questions that i have encountered in in, in no minds and what interview process that i uh, that i have underwent at in no minds uh, if you like it please do subscribe share comment give us the provide us the feedback of the interview like whether this is this helped you or not or at least share this videos to other technical platforms where somebody where someone is looking out for similar kind of interviews so thank you thank you for watching with this i'll stop the